there are two main types of research, basic and applied. To begin, it is important to know what research refers to. It's the process of gathering, analyzing and interpreting information you need to help you solve the problem. But what is the difference between basic and applied research? Let's begin with the basic research. So, what is basic research? It is also called theoretical or fundamental research, due to the fact that it is usually the basis for applied research. Besides, it focuses on basic principles and testing theories. It is used to expand our knowledge and learn things that have universal applicability. Researchers use basic research because it facilitates extraction of logical expansion and conclusions. Now, let's look at some general questions that form basic research. Remember, the answers to the questions should help you understand what something is, why it is like that, and how it works. For example, what is critical thinking? Why is it important? And how can we improve it? To continue, let's look at applied research. So, what is it? First of all, it goes further than basic research. It is used to answer a specific question to solve a problem. Besides, its outcome might have immediate application. Therefore, it is concerned with solving any practical problems of immediate interest, which means it can be applied to real-life situations. So, let's look at the question that can form applied research. How can technology facilitate teaching and learning? During the basic research, you might learn that all your students use smartphones. Then, during the applied research, you might want to find out how this tool can help you to improve teaching and learning process. Any research has the beginning and end. So, let's look at the main steps of the research process. You might need to start with the basic research. A coherent research should address the problem with well-defined research questions, hypotheses, and objectives. Besides, during the basic research, you need to do literature review, which means you might have to read a lot of books and academic articles. After clarifying the research topic and its importance, you will have to do applied research. During this step, you will have to design and develop instruments that are appropriate for the method and type of your research. For example, if you are planning an action research and you want to use combined method, questionnaires, interviews and observations might be the instruments to collect data for your research. The next step would be to write your research proposal and you might have to do basic research for instance, you might ask for permissions or uh, do a research about your student's background. Lastly, you will get back to applied research. It is important to do piloting before you conduct your real research. After data collection, you will analyze and interpret your findings. And finally, you will have to write conclusions and report the research findings. To conclude, Basic research adds further knowledge to the actual knowledge. It is based on curiosity and understanding what, why and how. Besides, it helps find information to prove or confirm theory and does not have immediate applications. On the other hand, applied research is beneficial to solve practical problems and has immediate potential applications. And before you start your research, remember, basic research feeds applied research, and applied research is helpful for basic research.